Hello and welcome to Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, and we are live on location at Aloft in the heart of Vaughn for none other than the Vaughn Film Festival. We'll be talking with some of the winners tonight, some of the people involved in the festival, and we are with Kim Roberts, who is a well-known actress and involved in the Vaughn Film Festival tonight. What brings you here? How did you get involved? Oh, well, Mark and Antonio are just the most lovable guys in the world. I actually worked on their short film, Fading, to, uh, Fading Light, and I hosted, I, or hosted, I presented an award last year at the film festival, and I think I'm a part of the family now. So um, they had me in to present Best Actress, and it was just wonderful. It was a beautiful night. And uh, tonight, what, were, did you win anything tonight? No, I was presenting Best Actress, but I did find out today that I've been nominated for an award. Uh, oh, good. Black Canadians, um, uh, the Black Canadian Awards, I think are happening June 6th, and you can vote. You, you have to vote, actually, for me to win, so please do. It's at blackcanadians.com, and I've been nominated for Best Actress. So. Well, that's very good. So, and tell us a little bit about some of the productions you have in the progress coming out, something you want to promote. Sure, yes, Jeanette. Well, right now, I've got a movie that we just shot in the fall in Sudbury with Debbie Gibson. Do you remember Debbie oh Gibson? Oh my god, I love Debbie Gibson! She's lovely. Is she's she? so beautiful. Oh my she's god, I loved person. her! Yeah. yeah, She's beautiful. She's yeah. my new best friend. Yeah. And I played her best friend, so it was okay, good. And it was, good. it was directed by the wonderful John Bradshaw. It was a really wonderful film. And that's called Music to My Ear, so you can look for that. Um, I've also shot a movie with uh, an Adam McGoyan film that will come out in the fall uh, with Christopher Plummer called Remember, and that was just a treat. And I'm also... That, well, he's a very good actor to work. What was it like to work with him? My job was to hold his hand. We had a scene where we just walked down a hallway. So literally, all Monday afternoon, all we did was hold hands. It was the best check I ever got in my life. He's wonderful. He's about 84 years old, and he's still sexy. He's still vital. He's still just a really... Yeah, and he's still working. Yeah. He's still working, right? So, okay, so tell us a little bit. Is it harder to be an actress in Canada and a you know woman of color in Canada? Was there anything ever not given to you that you wanted? I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I mean, I, I, I don't think that way. I think that whatever you want in life, no matter who you are, go for it. If you do the thing that you're passionate about, the thing that you would do for free anyway, you're going to do fine. And I truly believe that. And it might not, you know, it might not be what I do. It might be like, you know, I don't know, painting my numbers. But whatever you do, if you, if you love it and you've got a passion for it, you're probably going to be good at it. Well, I couldn't agree more. So now I want to hear a little bit more about this dress you're wearing. There's a whole story with you as well. I was designed tonight for the festival by uh, Muhammad uh, at uh, Lomomo Designs, Lomomo.com or Lomomo.ca. And it, I just, I love this dress. I think he's absolutely Very beautiful. Pretty and it's a beautiful color. Thank you. And then my hair was done by Buster at Amorphous Hair Salon on Eglinton West. He's been my hairdresser for years and he's just wonderful. He's just so creative and inventive and lovely. And yeah, so it's, it's nice to get glammed up for every now and again and feel oh, like. Yes, it is. We do. <laughs> love that. You're beautiful oh, thank you so much. You're the first to tell me so oh, tonight. No, oh, thank you very much. So, um, tell us how is there a website we can yes. follow you at? Please, um, I'm on Facebook. I have a Facebook fan page, so please like it. It's Kim Roberts. I'm also on Twitter, Kim Roberts One. I'm on Instagram as Ms. M. S. Kim Roberts, and I'm on. Is that everything? That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I think I've covered all the bases. Interesting. And I'm on my couch. We're all there too. No. <laughs> Website address? Um, yeah, uh, I don't have a website yet, but my Facebook fan page kind of suffices, or my Twitter. Okay. And you can vote. If you go to the fan page, you can vote for the Black Canadian Awards, and please do. Um, that would be wonderful. And watch Schitt's Creek. I was in Schitt's Creek. Oh, and, yes. and we're on they're just now. Yeah. They're actually just filming an episode up in Unionville, I noticed oh, really? the other day. You started again. Yeah. Good. Well, it's on Netflix, so you can catch the first season. And it's such a good show. It's, okay, and it's so yeah. nice to be proud of a Canadian show, you know? Well, it has been a pure delight chatting with you. You're very fun and outgoing. Love talking to people like you. Thank you. And it's Thank great you, that you're following your passion and doing so well. And, you know, I love to hear these kind of stories from Canadian actors. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for being with us today as we showcase some of Vaughn's incredible talent at the Vaughn International Film Festival. Until next time, continue to be fabulous. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, signing off for Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. Please like, Follow, comment, and share us on every social media platform. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, you name it, we're there. Hashtag Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV.